such a huge impact. DeVos was best known for her contributions and work for charity in West Michigan. Today we're hearing from the president of Spectrum on her passing. 24 Hour News 8 Sarah Hurwitz is live at Helen DeVos Children's Hospital with his words on the legacy she leaves behind. Sarah? Well, Helen DeVos's most notable contribution, this hospital, which has delivered world-class treatment to thousands of children around the world. And uh, this morning, we have been hearing some statements from the president of Spectrum Health, Richard Breon, who is talking about the lasting influence on the mission and the vision of Spectrum Health that will continue uh, with her legacy. Now, Breon says through her generosity to help establish numerous programs and services, her legacy will continue to touch so many lives. The $286 million, 14-floor, state-of-the-art hospital opened its doors to patients in January 2011. It's one of the nation's leading hospitals focusing on the health of children and was a point of pride for DeVos. Now, as you saw in the story that we just aired, she was incredibly proud and humbled to have her name on that hospital with a commitment to providing the best care. As she and her husband gave due countless charities and organizations, and Brian also said that in a statement this morning, quote, I am deeply saddened by the news of Helen DeVos's passing, and we extend our deepest sympathies to Rich and all of Helen's family and friends. He later went on to say, quote, Helen DeVos, a woman we knew and loved, will be remembered as someone who believed in and encouraged us to be our best. And while we mourn her passing, we celebrate and give thanks for her life and legacy of giving that had such a profound impact on our community. And tonight at 5 and 6 o'clock, we are just about to head to Greenville. An amazing story. We're talking with the mother of three who says that she's had all of her kids be patients here at the uh, DeVos Children's Hospital. And if it weren't for this treatment and the world-class care, they wouldn't be here today. Reporting live in Grand Rapids, Sarah Hurwitz, 24-Hour News 8.